Hello, family. How y'all doing? Oh, I need to move this over so I can see just a little bit. There we go. Ooh, these is dirty. Hi, fam. How are you? Waiting on a few people to come in. We're going to be talking about a good topic tonight, putting in the work, the steps to becoming the best version of you. We are streaming live on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. i to clean these spectacles off so I can see you guys. see. We don't have anybody in here yet, so I'm going to give it a few more minutes, and then I'm going to start. And then as people come in, I will acknowledge them. Um, and go from there. We got one, two people on, uh, well, one person on um, YouTube. Let's do this. All right. So I am going ahead and get started with this live. Again, we are talking about putting in the work, steps to becoming the best version of you. That's what we're doing this evening. Okay, I hope everyone's day has been well. Um, what's going on with uh, Instagram? Why is it telling me, hang on, we're telling more followers to join your video? I don't know what they're doing, but we're trying to get live. All right, there we go. So, again, the topic is putting in the work. Steps to becoming the best version of you. So this is Envision Radiance. This channel is here for the people. Um, this is for my visionaries, all my radiant visionaries. You guys are my family. This is our platform on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, this video is to assist, encourage, um, inspire and educate. Um, we are illuminating the possibilities of your imagined future. This channel has a has positive content. So if you're not here for anything positive, um, if you're here with a negative vibe, we respect that. That's your choice. Life is choice driven. Uh, at least that's what my sister tells me. Um, and uh, if you choose to be negative, that's fine. But we don't have any negative, any negativity here. We are all here um, trying to learn and trying to grow and trying to evolve and to be the best version of ourselves. And so tonight we're going to put in the work and we're gonna, I'm going to be sharing some steps. Sorry, my desk is a mess. Put uh, sharing some steps to becoming the best version of you. Uh, you got to recognize that the best version of you uh, should be your vision and not anybody else's vision. Um, you you want to know clearly what you want. Uh, what is your vision? What is your goals? What is it that you want on a, out of life? Um, don't waste energy trying to live up to other people's expectations um, or um, doing things that other people want you to do. I... Um, personally have lived uh, a portion of my life trying to uh, live up to other people's expectations and doing things that I never enjoyed doing at all, like never. Um, and it wasn't a happy life for me at all. It, it was not happy. It was not things that I was interested in doing. Um, it paid the bills. 
um, but it wasn't anything that I particularly wanted to do. Find out what your what your vision is. Um, and again, you focus on that. You're, you're becoming the best version of your show, yourself um, and you can start with your vision. Uh, the next thing we have to do is we have to control our mind. Um, there's a thing called mind wandering. Uh, when we wander our mind, we aimlessly pursue um, goals and fail to question exactly how far we are going to go or what is stopping us um, at becoming our, our best version of ourselves. So when your mind wanders, you're sidetracked, um, things that you were planning on doing may not get done. Uh, you know, you might not allow yourself enough time to get all of the projects done, all of the plans done. Um, when your mind wanders, it it doesn't allow you to stay focused. Hey, Black Jesus, welcome to the live. So good to see you. Um, we're talking about putting in the work, steps to becoming the best version of yourself. Um, we've already discussed that we're going to recognize the best version of yourself. Um, and that starts with your vision um, and not anybody else's vision. Um, you, we're not going to waste any energy trying to live up to anybody else's expectations. We are going to live up to our own expectations. And now we're about to discuss controlling your own mind. Um, and I was just, I was explaining mind wandering, uh, which is when we're not focused and our mind tends to wander. Um, we get off track or sidetracked um, and then we can't complete the things that we need to complete in order to put in the work to become our best version of ourselves. Um, we need to learn or know your purpose. Um, you learn or know what you do absolutely the best, what you're best at, uh, what you're passionate about, um, what you love to do. Um, once you learn that, then you can amplify your strengths. Um, as you learn how to be the best version of yourself, you will hit roadblocks of exhaustion where your uh, current skill set is inadequate. Do not get discouraged. We're going to amplify, amplify your strengths so that you can you remember um, what number one, what you bring into the table and two, what your goal was, what your uh, vision was. You got to stay focused. Um, play to your strengths. You got to stay positive. You're going to keep people that's positive around you. Um, you know, they're going to be still trying to find a way. I know, me too. It's, it's a work in progress. Um, and this is why I have wanted to say, uh, you know, talk about this tonight. All of the topics that I discussed, believe me, I'm still working on them too. And that's why I said we're here together to learn and grow and evolve. This is definitely like me sitting here telling you guys something that I'm not going through or haven't been through or not using as a tool myself. Um, so we're on here trying to figure out how to be the best version of ourselves, not for anybody else, but for us, for us to be happy, to be full, to be whole, you know, um, that is what we're here to do. Um, so again, we're going to amplify our strengths, staying positive, um, find creative solutions. Um, you can do all of that um, if you're not bogged down in self-defeated thinking. So we can't beat ourselves up. We have to keep ourselves focused. We have to be around people who are positive. Um, we can't be around succubus that are draining the life out of us. We can't be around people who are not um, celebrating, congratulating, and inspiring us to go forward. Um, we have to learn how to put our pride to the side um, and accept help from other people. Hey, um, Nathan, happy birthday again. Welcome to the live. We are talking about putting in the work, steps to becoming the best version of yourself. Um, you have to learn how to accept help from other people. I know we think that we got it. We don't want to ask anybody for no help. The last time we asked somebody for some help, they didn't do us right. Or they didn't show up when we needed them. Or, you know, whatever happened. Um, we, we cannot blame uh, future people who really have our interests for those who have burned us in the past. D. Reeves is in the building. Hi. <laughs> 
Welcome to the live. Um, don't let your pride get in the way. Most successful people need help along the way. If you think these celebrities and business people, hey, Nikki, welcome to the live. Thanks for coming in. We're talking about putting in the work, steps to becoming the best version of you. Uh oh. Um, we're on um, accepting help from other people, which is uh, major for some of us from being um, hurt in the past. Hey, sis, um, you know, a lot of successful people get help, and we don't see that part. You know, a lot of these rich people, these moguls, they've gotten help in the past. Um, I, I hear people all the time say that, you know, they went out on a business venture. It didn't pan out. Um, they ended up flat broke. Um, they've had to borrow money from a friend or they had to retool or relearn or figure out a way to uh, get back on track. Um, and so we just see that they're successful. We don't see what was behind the success. Um, not everybody is um, from legacy money, to be quite honest, um, be quite honest. So we have to be able to uh, trust people to allow them to help us. And then, you know, we just talking about, we've talked about toxic people and we talked about recognizing the signs of people who are not in our corner. So we have those tools out the way. So we should be able to uh, trust people because we know what to look for. So we should be able to allow them to help us. We need to stop pretending that we know everything. Now, y'all know black folks, we know everything, even when we don't know. I hate to say black folks, but that's, that's it's a lot of us like that. I only can speak on who I've been around and what I know. Uh, we, when you stop pretending that you know everything, then you can learn something. I'm, I'm going to repeat that for the people in the nosebleeds. When you stop pretending that you know everything, then you can learn something. All of us can learn something from somebody. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. This week, I've been educated to the utmost on things regarding business and just uh, promotion um, and entrepreneurship, just marketing, um, branding. Um, I thought I knew something. I, I didn't know. Uh, we have to be open to receiving help. We have to put our pride to the side and we have to stop pretending that we know everything. Not one, not nam, no, not nam one, as my grandma would say. Nam one of us know everything. So we have to leave ourselves open to learn something, to be educated, uh, for people to pass wisdom. Uh, we need to stop looking for a secret trick. There's no gimmick, no catch, no get rid quick scheme that's really out there for us. We have to put in the work. I hate to say it, but we want all of the benefits without none of the work. We want all of the benefits with none of the work. We just want to wake up rich. We want to wake up with that woman that, you know, you wanted or the man of your dreams or, uh, you know, the 2.5 kids and the pick and whatever it is that your vision, your goal, your dreams are. You just want to go to sleep and wake up and it's already done. We looking for any kind of niche trick or what have you to get us to get to that spot. And it doesn't work. I'm here to tell you, we're going to have to work for it. All of us have to work. There's no miraculous shortcuts to a better version of yourself. We have to set reasonable goals. I think some of us, um, we set our goals a little too high for the time period. Um, it doesn't mean that it's too high overall, but maybe today that goal might not be able to be obtained. And then when we don't meet that goal, we beat ourselves up and we have to start from square one. But if we just start with small, uh, reasonable goals, I think it's um, Steve Harvey that uh, his quote is inch by inch is the cinch. I like that quote because um, as the old people would say, Rome was not built in a day. Um God did not create the earth, if you're a Christian, um, in one day. He took six days, and on the seventh day, he rested. So, you know, we, we have to be reasonable in knowing um, that we have it's, we have goals, but set them small and measurable 
and obtainable for you. What one person can do, you might not be able to do. Um, if you're not a multitasker, I don't suggest that you try and multitask right out the gate. Um, again, if your mind is wandering, um, your goal is to get focused, whatever that takes. Meditation, concentration, um, you know, timing yourself to have a specific task. Um, I got me some help because I'm one of those multitaskers that be doing, excuse my French, too damn much all the time. So what I had to get me was the whiteboard. It came in the mail today. And my goal is to write down every day three things that I need to get done for that day. And that is what I'm going to work on. Th nothing more and nothing less so that I can have proper rest and I can, you know, stay focused and I can give it my best. So you have to find out what works best for you. Some people uh, use calendars. Some people use, um, you know, whatever tools you can. Um, I know we're all, I'm on a social media platform, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. But um, for those of us who are really trying to better ourselves, social media has been a downfall for us. Um, and that is because uh, we we get caught up in what other people do. Excuse me one second. Sorry, my mouth was dry. So we have to ignore the social media scoreboard. And what I mean by scoreboard is we measuring how our life should be based upon what somebody else is doing. Can I just share with y'all? Really? Most of the people that's on social media that look like they making money or look like they got money, they, they, they going hungry. Some of them are homeless. Uh, they be looking like they on vacation. They in their backyard. It's all about how you photograph and light. You know, um, I, it was an article, I think, at the beginning of this year, early last year. Young lady uh, had all these hundreds of thousands of followers. She looked happy all the time. You see her on her social media platform. And in reality, she was miserable. She was depressed and she ended up killing herself. So let's not use social media as our guide uh, to depict uh, what our life should be like or, you know, how we should be looking. People on Facebook and Instagram Snapchat and other social media platforms, um, they might not be telling you the truth. Uh, from what I know, the people I know that's rich, they don't be broadcasting all that they got and all that they do and, and everything they're doing unless they're, they've already gone through it and they're using it to help somebody else. And even with that, it comes with a price, uh, usually a price tag, you know, um, now that they've already been through it. So, um, yeah, my cousin says uh, uh, so true, and D Reeves is like absolutely. Um, yeah, you just we we have to not use social media. You you're the only one that's gonna get up hurt. You're gonna be hurt if you're measuring who you should be in the best version of yourself based off of television, uh, music videos, and, and any social media platform. If you're basing it on celebrity status of any kind. You the one that's gonna be hurt. We I, we discussed this uh, yesterday. All of us are unique. We're all we all come with special qualities. Um, we are all different, and so what works for them might not necessarily work for you. So um, if you are one of those people who love to be on social media, I would advise you please don't take anything on there where, uh, to heart at all because those people are not presenting. Um, themselves in real life. It's very few people on there that's um, really living um, in the manner in which you see on social media. Um, I want you guys to be able to celebrate small victories. If you lost five pounds, celebrate like you lost a thousand pounds. If you got your license Celebrate like you already got your, your law firm or your your office or your building for your entrepreneurship. You're going to celebrate each level, each victory. Um, if you celebrate the, the small things, it will motivate you to continue 
to the larger things on your list of goals and your vision for yourself. Um, and then we're going to embrace our failures. So we're not going to beat ourselves up. We're not going to be upset with ourselves because we had a failure. There is no such thing as failure. I know y'all looking at me like I'm crazy. There's no such thing as failure. I know we all been taught you can't fail. You can't fail. You can't fail. Well, if you don't fail, then how do you learn? How do you know what not to do if you never experienced failure? And what is failure really? Because if you're able to get up and brush yourself off again, you really haven't failed. Fail, failure means it's the end. It's finished. There's nothing else you can do about that. Um, so no one's failing. Uh, you can fall down. You definitely can fall down. Um, but you should be able to get back up, uh, whether it take you two days uh, or two weeks. If you got back up on your feet, even if you got to the kneeling position, that means that you're still able to get up. And that's what we want to embrace. Not the failure. But the lesson learned from what society causes a failure. Um, I don't know anyone that has been successful who hasn't so-called failed or have fallen down. Uh, we have comedians. Uh, what's her name? Leslie. Somebody tell me Leslie's last name. I don't know. Um, tall, uh, dark skinned black lady. That's a comedian. Um, she didn't really find out who she wanted to be and what she wanted to do until she was in her 40s. Samuel Jackson didn't get into the business until he was 40. Um, I don't think that their lives previous to that would be, uh, thank you, Leslie Jones. Thank you, Jim B. Uh, and welcome to the live. I don't think that any of them would consider anything before that time a failure. They were merely stepping stones to put them on the right track to where they needed to be. So if you lost your job, you probably weren't supposed to be there anyway. And guess what? That means you have an opportunity to reinvent yourself. Maybe you was working at that job and dreading to go into that office every single solitary day. And now you have an opportunity to decide what you want to do with your life and how you want to do it. So let's, let's not count it um, as a failure. Let's count it as a stepping stone. Or that you've fallen and you need to you you need to get back up, but you get to choose how you get back up, and which direction that you go. Um, and we may have to repeat some things some things several times in order to get the lesson. That's okay as long as we get the lesson in the end. Um, we don't want to sweat the details. Okay, I'm nosy. When it comes to my life, I'm nosy. I, I used to be the type of person I need to know all the details. I need to know the when, the how, the uh, what, uh, the all, all of it. I need to know uh, so I can have control. We can't have control of everything. We have to be able to embrace not being in control of everything and not sweating the details. So just make sure that you're moving in the right general direction of your vision. Um, you probably um, do not have the knowledge you need to, today to know the shorter, shortest path to your happiness five years from the day. Remember, we're not taking no shortcuts, right? There's no gimmicks and there's no tricks. So we're, we're not going to do that. Um, but you probably have some idea about how to move in the right direction. So what you don't know, we ain't going to worry about that. What you do know is what we're going to focus on. And you're going to take those steps in the direction of your of your uh, vision, your dream, your goals. We're going to take those steps to get to where we need to go in order for everything to come together for you to be the best version of yourself, whether that be in business, whether that be in your personal life, your uh, romantic life, uh, best parent version of yourself, um, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to elevate and involve yourself in whatever area if it's the best version of yourself. We're going to work through this uh, four letter cuss word I don't like to use, and that's fear. I know y'all thought I was talking about the other ones. It's a lot of, you know, it's another F, but it's fear or fear of failure. We're going to work right through it. Fear does exist. 
Um, it is crippling if you allow it to be. But I can promise you this. If you work through the fear and you come out, when you come out on the other side, you'll appreciate the fear. See, fear, is, it works on your psyche. It's a mental and emotional thing to distract you from your success. Um, if you allow fear to really creep in, it can hinder anything positive that you're trying to do, any success or accomplishment. Um, but you need to have just the right amount of fear, if that makes sense. Does that make sense to you guys? You need to have just the right amount of fear, uh, of fear or just fear in general to motivate you to do the things that you need to do. Um, do we have any questions, any comments, um, any stories that need to be uh, shared? Uh, you know, I, I always ask you guys, this is this is a we thing. It's not a me thing. We're we're in this together. So we're all here to learn. We're all here to grow. And we are all here to evolve. These tools are not just for you guys. I am actively working through to be the best version of myself as well. Um, I am eradicating toxic people from my life. Um, I am making sure that the love that I have in my life is real and not forced. Um, every lesson that I go through, everything um, that I talk about, excuse me, um, my phone just went off. Um, is something that I have dealt with, something I'm dealing with, something someone close to me has dealt with, um, or just wisdom and knowledge from life, or something that I need to deal with. So we're all actively in this together. Um, we're radiant visionaries. We're, we're trying to get to the best version of ourselves. Um, we're gonna practice gratitude. We did all this work. And so now we're going to practice uh, gratitude. So I don't know if you're a morning person, if you're a night person. Um, but what I would like to challenge us to do, and that's all of us, is uh, express three to five things that we're grateful for each and every day. You don't have to post them on social media. Um, you don't have to share them with any anyone else. Um, you can put them on posted or sticky notes and you can create um, a box or a jar, or um, you can post them on your mirror in your bathroom. Uh, maybe you have a special spot on your wall or something, wherever you can put them. Um, and we're going to use them um, on the days that we're not quite feeling our best. So we'll use that as a motivator to, um, sorry. We'll use it as a motivator to uh, get us back on track. So let's just say I'm happy. I'm, I'm grateful for um, being able to walk again. I had surgery this year uh, on my foot. I had to learn how to walk again. Um, it was very challenging. So I'm grateful for that. Every time I run, jump, skip, whatever, um, I recall the time that I couldn't even get up to go to the restroom. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, uh, maybe you're grateful because you got a promotion at work. Um, maybe you're grateful because uh, you woke up and you could see, you could smell, you could taste, you have family that love you, whatever it is. Um, we wanna we wanna express those three to five things. Um, and you're welcome to share those on social media. Um, we, you're welcome to share um, with family members and friends, um, I would implore you to teach your kids this. Um, it's a it's a it's a wonderful positive tool to help you get back on track if ever you're off track. Um, it's an emotional game changer. Um, and this may be the hardest thing to do, and that is be willing to shed your old identity. Uh, when you determine to find your ideal self, you are essentially raising the bar uh, for yourself and the people you know. Let me just put a, a thumbtack right here and also say that when you decide to change yourself, 
you're going to you're going to receive opposition. You're going to receive opposition because people are used to you being a certain type of way. And just to be qu quite frank and honest, everyone does not want you to reach you being the best version of yourself. So um, I don't want you to let that to distract, distra distract you or uh, distract you, I'm sorry, or to deter you from your goal of being the best version of yourself and to continue to do the work. Because you do the ben you will receive the benefit. And those who are closest to you, who stuck in with you and stuck by you, they'll benefit, they'll benefit from it also. Um, your old self will resist due to the feelings of insecurity and fear of the unknown. Uh, we talked about fear. It can be used for a negative and a positive. Resist the urge to cling to the familiar the identity that has been holding you back and embrace a can-do attitude, which means you can do all you can do anything you want to do if you put your mind to it. Inch by inch is the cinch. Um we're we're trying to find tools and development to just be the best version of ourselves. Uh, I stress meditation because this is a high anxiety time, because of the pandemic, because crime. Because uh, we're not able to be around the people that we love the most. Um, I suggest prayer if you're in the faith. Hi, Tiffany. Thanks for joining the live. Uh, prayer if you are a follower of the way, a Christian, uh, if you believe in, in any um, deity um, and you or you believe in science and the universe, um, you, you can manifest um your ideal future. Um, you can use a vision board if you need to see and have clarity on the things that you want to work on uh, for you to become your um, best version of yourself. Some areas that you want to work on, um, anger, um, you know, maybe if, if you don't have a poker face, you might want one. Um, uh, quick uh, quick um, to speak, um, yes, prayer, Tiffany, that, that works for me and meditation. Um, you're quick to speak and slow to listen. Um, you know, all of those type of things were things that I need to work on. I needed to work on my attitude, my anger management. I've come a really long way. Um, and so, uh, I know some of the things that we go through in life, we're not, we don't just wake up with these things that we want to fix. We have gone through some things. Um, and sometimes when we go through things, we don't shed off the, the things that help defend us while we were going through. We actually use those things as a crutch. So um, we want to lighten our load. We don't have to carry all the bricks anymore. We can start tearing down those bricks. But for deserving people to be around us and for us to be a deserving person for the people that love us as well. And so we have to put in the work. You can't wake up tomorrow. And bibbity bobbity boo, everything is fixed. It doesn't work that way. Um, you can manifest it. Um, you can pray. Um, you can you can speak gratitude. Um, you can uh, meditate. Uh, all of those things are work. It's it's work. Every last one of those is still work. And work does not have to be a chore. Um, this is something that we want to do. We want to live our full and happy lives. And so uh, we come on here and we talk. Um, and this is definitely like, like I said, this is not a man's corner. Um, if you have something to contribute, please do. If there's anything that I haven't covered on um, putting in the work or steps to becoming the best version of you, maybe you have a tool that we haven't talked about or that I haven't thought about. Share it. We, we trying to grow. We trying to learn. We trying to evolve. We're we're promoting positivity. We want to be the best version of ourselves. We want to be whole or as close to whole as possible so that we can attract whole and as close to whole people in our lives. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard the saying, light attracts light. Well, we are people of light and we want to be around those people who are of light. Um, you know, I enjoy coming on here. And I doing these lives, I get to talk to you guys. 
Um, but I definitely want you guys to interact and talk to me back. Um, you know, I, I do this because I love you guys and I love people. And I know that our people have gone through so much. Personally, we've gone through things as a people. Um, our people of color, especially, have gone through a lot of things. And that's not to make us victims. It's to make us victors. But you best to believe if we started on top, we can we can get back on top again. Well, we have to put in the work. And so in order to put in the work, you have to start with yourself. You do the self work. And build yourself up so that you can reach back or reach to the side and grab somebody else and pull them up. It's kind of like the village thing that we've gotten out of. You know, we used to be a village people. You know, we 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 took care of our villages, our homes, our communities. We 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 looked out for one another, and we don't seem to do that anymore. We in a very 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 selfish time. It's the me 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 time. It's all about me. Well, on this live, we're gonna focus. We're gonna focus on building ourselves up so that we can live as a village. Um, I think Tiffany would agree with me. It's king, and, and so would Vernita. It's kingdom living that we're 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 that's our goal. Um, Tiffany says, not for sure if you mentioned this, but to the best version of themselves start with forgiveness. Come on, Tiffany, I forgot all about forgiveness. Uh, forgiveness of others and forgiving yourself. That is an excellent point, Tiffany. We definitely have to forgive ourselves. I'm so glad that you mentioned that. Uh, forgiveness is major. Yes. So anything we've done in the past to ourselves, I used to beat myself up every time I would so-called fail, um, you know, um, and so I had to learn how to forgive myself and how to rechannel my mind and my thinking that number one, we don't fail. And number two, I have to work through whatever it is that if I got knocked down, I have to brush myself off, get back up. But in the getting back up, I have to reprogram my mind because it didn't work that way. So now I have to strategize on how to do it another way or to know that that's not the way or, or the goal or the plan for me um, again. But you have to forgive yourself. Thank you, Tiffany. I appreciate that. Um, that's wisdom. Forgiveness. And then we have to learn how to forgive other people. We cannot be dangling a carrot over people's heads um, because they did something. We are all trying to grow. We all are evolving. Um, and the evolution might not be positive. It might be negative. Some people good with the negative. Um, but you can forgive them. Um, when you forgive other people, it really helps you the most. Um, you know, it, it does help the other people. But forgiveness helps you the most because you're not carrying around a hard and hurt. You're not carrying around that load, that extra load um, of harshness or hardness or anger or uh, disappointment uh, from the other person. And at the end of the day, we choose um, what type of day we're going to have. We choose. We choose how we allow people to affect us. So um, when people show you who they are, you should believe them. Um, you know, if somebody pissed you off, you can choose to let that uh, affect you for a few moments, a few hours or an entire day. Uh, we did address fear, uh, Vernita. Yes, we, we, we discussed fear. But yes, in order to forgive, we have to come out of fear. Uh, Vernita has said, um, can we address fear? We have to come out of fear to be able to forgive. You're absolutely right. We talked about fear. You might want to uh, start, the, start the video from the beginning. Um, but that is so true. No, no need to apologize. Um, that's absolutely true. And it may have needed to be, said, to be said again for somebody who really needed to hear that. So what I'll do is I will recap. Um, before I close the live today. And then those who came in late, um, you can uh, watch the video from the beginning. So just to recap, we're going to recognize that the best version of yourself should be your vision, not anybody else's vision, but your vision for you. Uh, we're going to control our mind. We are not going to let our mind wander. Uh, 
we can't afford to have aimless wandering of our mind. Um, so we're going to stop doing that. We're going to learn or either know our purpose. Uh, many of us might not know it, but you can learn it. Uh, you're going to know that that means knowing what you do the absolute best or what you love to do. Um, it may even be something that someone sees in you that you didn't see in yourself. And then you get an opportunity, an opportunity to investigate that. Um, we're going to amplify our strengths. Um, we're going to accept help from other people because we're all we're already doing the work uh, on eliminating toxic people from our life and not being forced to love people. We're already working through the you know we're working through some other tools to help us to be able to. Um, accept help from other people. That, that means trust. We have to trust people um, and not let our pride uh, be in the way. We have to stop pretending that we know everything. Not, no, not one person knows everything. I know we have some brilliant people even here on this live. In our lives, we have some really smart people. Hey, Clarissa, thank you for joining the live. We're doing a recap. Our topic this evening is putting in the work, steps to becoming the best version of you. So we thank you and we welcome you to the live. If at any point in time that you have any questions, comments, or you, you can add anything to the live, we welcome that. Uh, we're going to stop looking for a secret tri uh, trick to, you know, becoming the best ver version of ourselves. Um, there's no trick. There's no bibbity bobbity boo wine. You wind down or you wake up in the morning and everything is fixed and that, you know, you are the best version of yourself. All your uh, issues are gone. None of, none of that. None of that works. We're going to put in the work to becoming the best version of ourselves. And please believe me, that means work. Work is not a negative word. It is very much so positive. It's all in the way that you look at it. Uh, we're going to set reasonable goals. We are not going to build Rome in one day. Uh, we are not going to uh, set unattainable goals. If you are not a multitasker, you should not be focusing on multitasking. That's not your thing. Um, I'm just trying to give you some, some, some other examples of setting reasonable goals. Um, I quoted Steve Harvey earlier, inch by inch is the cinch. You're going to break up the task into smaller pieces uh, so that you can, it's more obtainable for you. Uh, and whatever it is that you're trying to, uh, to obtain the best version of yourself in, whether it's being a parent, uh, being a CEO, um, obtaining an education, whatever you're investing in yourself, uh, your attitude, your anger, whatever it is that you're trying to fix, um, you want to set reasonable goals. We're going to ignore the social media scoreboard. What I mean by that is we are not living our lives according to what social media deems as the greatest version of yourself. You are going to be kicking yourself trying to live up to other people's expectations. It's an unattainable goal. You live up to your expectations. You live up to what you believe you want to be the best version of you. Um, you should not be going out here buying a $300,000 house making $10,000 a year because somebody on social media had it. Um, a lot of these people on social media uh, are not living the lives that they portray on social media. It's a lie. It's a lie. Um, I know two people for a fact. On social media, you swear they rich. They got the uh, Balenciagos. They, they got the Gucci. They have... Uh, what is that bag that people on the list? Birkin. They they got a, a Birkin bag. It's probably a knockoff. That's a long list for that Birkin. But nevertheless, they feel like they need all of these things to make them look a certain type of way for people to believe that they are successful. We don't need that. We don't need that. And if you're one of those people who are easily influenced by that type of thing, then you may need to reduce your time on social media because 
We don't need anything to distract you from your, your vision and your goals and your dreams to make you the best version of yourself. We're going to celebrate the small wins. We're going to celebrate, celebrate the small wins, the small victories. Uh, you you got to appreciate what you're doing in the present time um, to keep you motivated towards your ultimate goal. Um, so if you got your certification and you haven't got your degree, we're going to celebrate that. And we're going to keep on celebrating each milestone until you get to your ultimate goal. Um, so you got your first apartment. OK, so you don't own a house yet. It's OK. It's OK. Everybody, didn't, you know, everybody don't own a house. And you may feel that you never want a house. And that's OK, too. We are all very unique and special. And um, we don't have to be like anybody else. Um, that's what makes life so interesting is that we're all different. Um, we're going to embrace uh, the other F-bomb word, which is failure, because there is no failure. You can get knocked down, but you can pick yourself right back up. There's no such thing as failure. Failure. Hey, Merlin, welcome to the live. We are talking about putting in the work to becoming the best version of ourselves. So welcome. We are talking about embracing failure. You can become the best version of yourself. Um, and failure is not a thing. Um, and the reason why I said failure is not a thing, because even if you can't get back up on your feet, I said earlier that you, if you can just get back up on your knees, you can re-strategize. You can uh, retry. You can just you can just try and try again. You can brush yourself off. Uh, there's no thing, such thing as failure. Those are lessons to be learned in order to get you where you need to be. Um, we don't want to sweat the we don't want to sweat the details. So we don't need to know uh, the when, the what, the how, uh, and the why. We don't need to know all of those. We don't need to know all of those. Um, you have, you, I'm sure you have an idea of where you want to go, uh, but you're going to focus on uh, the, the path there. Remember, we're going to take it step by step, um, and we're just going to move forward. As long as we're moving in the direction, that's a good thing. We don't want to stop. We want to continue to progress. We don't want to regress. But if we do regress, just know that you can just pick yourself up. You can brush yourself off and we can just get right back moving to where we want to go. We're going to work through the fear and the fear of failure. OK. That's a mental and emotional strategy. That's what fear does. It works on your psyche, on your mental and your emotional. We have Rack Raymond with us. Uh, I think he's promoting on here. Raymond, welcome to the live. I'm not sure why we're promoting cryptocurrency on here, but we're talking about being the best version of yourself. I guess if the cryptocurrency is going to help you, I guess you can contact uh, Rack Raymond. We're going to practice gratitude. Uh, morning or night, we promised that we were going to, well, I hope we're going to all participate. Um, I pledge that we do three to five things that you are grateful for a day. Um, I guarantee you this is an emotional game changer. Three to five things a day. It can be so much as thank you for my breath of life. I'm still here. I can see. I can taste. I can smell. I can hear. Um, I got the promotion. Um, I, I have reliable transportation. I have people who love me. I'm grateful for this opportunity to become the greatest version of myself. Whatever it may be, um, three to five. Uh, express three to five things that you're grateful for. Um, Tiffany um, had offered some excellent Excellent, excellent, excellent um, advice. And she said, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but to be the best version of ourselves starts with forgiveness, forgiving others and forgiving ourselves. Tiffany, I ain't forget, boo. That's major. And we appreciate you 
contributing that because it's very much needed. Forgiveness. You have to learn how to forgive yourself. Uh, we've all done some things in the past we're probably not proud of. Uh, we have said some things, seen some things, done some things. You have to forgive yourself and move forward. I am my I am my worst critic. It's usually what those people are who have a problem with forgiving themselves. They beat themselves up either before someone else does or because they feel like they failed. But we've already determined that today that there is nothing called failure. Failure does not exist. You're going to, if you fall down, you're going to pick yourself back up. You're going to brush yourself off and you're going to keep it moving towards your goal. Um, we have to be willing to shed our old identity. Um, I also talked about that when you decide to change yourself, you're going to meet opposition. People are comfortable with you being whoever you were. So if you were a liar in the past, they are not going to appreciate you saying that you no longer are a liar. If you uh, were negative Nancy in the past and you chose a positive spot in life now, they are not going to be comfortable with you not being negative or they will remind you of stuff that you've done in the past. Uh, oh, I remember when you stole that candy bar when we was five. Um, I'm 40 now. That was 35 years ago. You can let it go. And you might have to let them go because if they're not a part of the positive future, if they're not investing in you, inspiring you, uh, they're not congratulating you, um, they're not with you as you're trying to progress to something more positive, a better version of yourself, then they're not for you. And so quite simply, you might have to use either that long handle spoon, the one where you have to crank like the uh, fishing rod. Or you may just have to um, serve in their walking papers all together. Every time we evolve, uh, you will be shedding something or someone. So don't let that shock you or surprise you. Uh, when you determine to find your ideal self, you are essentially you are raising the bar for yourself. Uh, and for the people you know, um, I like to call it the pebble in the brook effect. When you toss the pebble into the brook. You see waves, the strongest, right around where the, rock, where the rock or pebble fell into the water. But if you notice, if you toss that rock in really good, those waves fan out. They, they look faint, but they still can be felt. Every time we make an action, every time we, we do something, it affects those around us and the people we love, the people we know. So your growth is going to affect someone as well. Um, it might rub some people the wrong way um, and maybe not. So we are going to put in the work. We are uh, going to uh, take the steps to becoming the best version of ourselves. Um, I know I will be encouraging you guys to do the three to five. Um, express three to five things of gratitude. Again, you can do it on social media as something positive on social media, you can um, do it with your children. You can teach them. Uh, you can do it with your spouse, your loved one, family member, so on and so forth. But we just want to start having tools. Um, you can also put them in a, in a shoe box or in a jar uh, and just put all the things that you're thankful for on there or maybe a sticky notes or pieces of paper. Um, I have a, uh, a friend of mine. She uses hers on her mirror in the morning. Maybe she woke up on the wrong side of the bed when she goes into the bathroom. If she can't fix it in her bedroom, when she goes into that bathroom and she see all those things that she should be grateful for, uh, it's a game changer. Again, your mindset changes. It reminds you of where you've been so you can continue to go where you need to go towards the ultimate goal. We're going to break up everything into small sections. We're not going to overwhelm ourselves. But we definitely are going to continue on the path uh, to the best version of ourselves. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for coming on the live this evening. Uh, I appreciated everyone's participation. Um, I look forward to speaking with you guys again uh, very soon. I have some topics in store. Maybe you guys can help me with the next topic. Um, I'm also taking some suggestions for topics. Um, I have topics um, for at least the next three months, but um, I'm always willing. I love you too, Vernita. Um, hey, Laura. 
I'm always willing to take suggestions. It may be something that's needed um, that I didn't foresee. Um, so um, I have we got we have a choice of uh, I'm not where I used to be is a topic. Um, money, status, and fame is it really a factor, or are you a priority? So let me know. You can put it in the comments. Again, you guys can send me emails. Uh, my email is Envision Radiance. That's E N V I S I O N R A D I A N C E at gmail.com. You can uh, DM me on Instagram and Facebook. You can always make comments in the chats. I do read them. Um, the uh, important thing about having low numbers is you can still really interact with the people. We're on a personal level. Um, you're not just a number. We are very much so uh, radiant visionaries uh, on this live. And we are family. And we are here to help each other, um, inspire each other, uh, to learn, to grow, and to evolve. Um, I want you guys to take care of yourself if you're going out. Please make sure during this holiday season that you're practicing safety, uh, parking in lit areas, parking near the door uh, to the areas where you're shopping, uh, wear your gloves if you're going to any big box stores. Please continue to wear your mask. If you don't have a reason to go outside, don't go. Read a book. Meditate. Pray. Uh, FaceTime a family member. Uh, Skype somebody. Whatever. Check on our loved ones. Uh, check on people you haven't heard from in a while uh, just to make sure that they are OK. Um, you got to love yourself. Sometimes uh, you just got to love yourself. I, I would love to tell you guys all the time because it really is all the time. But I'm going to start with sometimes. But love yourself. Um, and that way um, you can teach people how to love you. Take care of yourselves and know that I love you. Until the next time. All right, Facebook. Until the next time. All right, Instagram. Until the next time. Good night, YouTube.